Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to unbox and assemble the Golden Technologies Buzz Around XLS HD in the three wheel configuration known as model number GB121B-SHZ. What's up, Mark? Looking good in the Buzz Around XLS HD. It's stability, it only take a set. Take a set. Why deal with all that stress? There's no competition when you're dealing with the best. Hey. Mobility direct. It's stability, it only take a set. Take a set. Why deal with all that stress? There's no competition when you're dealing with the best. Mobility direct. 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 Before we get started, like always, I do need to tell you a couple quick things. Number one, if you want a product catalog, it's free. It has our top selling products, has some secret discount codes in there. You're gonna wanna claim a copy. Just go to our website, mobilitydirect.com. Click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Fill out the simple short form that pops up and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. You can also call our non-commissioned sales experts with the number below. Give them your mailing address and they'll process a request for you. Or you can click right there where it says get free catalog. It'll pull up the form. It's super easy to do it that way. I also want to say that if you stay tuned to the end of this video, you will learn how you could win a free mobility scooter. Once a month, we give away a mobility scooter. And if you want to learn more about that giveaway opportunity, you're going to want to stay tuned to the end of this video. With that being said, let's get started. So as you can see, I have a knife. You can have a pair of scissors or a box cutter. I'm using my pocket knife to cut the pallet straps because these units do ship on a wooden crate. We removed it from the wooden crate because we had several products show up at our showroom at the same time. But if you only order one, it's gonna show up on a wooden crate and you will need to cut those pallet straps that are used to secure the box to the wooden crate. Now you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to the, the integrity of the box. If it's completely crushed and it looks like you're products probably damaged, it's perfectly okay to refuse the delivery. Take pictures and contact our customer service department right away. Now in this case, the corners are dinged up, but that's normal folks. I mean, you know how it is. You can be ordering stuff that's from Amazon, a little package, and you know, they, they show up dinged up in the corners, but Golden Technologies really does a good job at packaging their products. So little dings in the corners like that, that's normal. You don't need to refuse the delivery because 99% of the time the product's gonna be fine. There's a ton of styrofoam, a ton of bubble wrap, so everything is really well protected. You don't have to worry too much about little minor damages to the box. But extreme damage is another story and it's totally okay if you see an extreme amount of damage to just refuse the order. So here's your user manual, a couple of other pieces of hardware, some tools, your keys. You're gonna to wanna to read the user manual in its entirety. You can see there's a four wheel model and a three wheel model. This is the universal user manual for both. So the three wheel model is gonna turn a little sharper. It's gonna have more leg room. Four wheel model is gonna be a little bit more stable for off road. Either way, read the user manual in its entirety. It's gonna save you a lot of time and trouble if you know how to use your product. So I just pulled out the first armrest. I'm gonna go ahead and take the wrapper off. We'll fast forward through this process. So I'm just gonna put both armrests to the side for now and continue to unpackage everything, put all my styrofoam pieces and cardboard pieces to the side so we can clean up the set afterwards. Here is the charger, it's a small charger. You wanna make sure you charge your batteries for at least eight to 12 hours when you first get your unit to train the batteries, give them that initial training charge. And keep in mind, the first few times that you use it, you know, the batteries aren't gonna last as long as they will after you break it in and charge it a few times and use it a few times. Here's a cup holder that comes with it for free, pretty nice. Here is the seat post. This is a really important piece. And we're gonna show you how you can use it to change the height of the seat. So there's three little holes there and we'll show you how that's done. 
nice about some of these golden scooters is they come with cup holders, phone holders. This is a cell phone holder, all included at no extra charge. Pretty nice. This is the seat uh, post hitch, or I'm sorry, the seat hitch receiver. So you can use this as like a hitch, kind of like a trailer hitch on the back of a truck or SUV. Only you're not going to be towing a boat or a trailer. You're going to be towing, uh, or you're going to be attaching things like a rear basket or a uh, oxygen tank holder, walker holder fishing gear holder. You know, we have videos where we take these scooters on fishing trips. Not going to want to miss out on those videos. Check out our Golden Technology scooter playlist by clicking at the top right hand corner of the screen and it'll take you to our review videos of all the different Golden Technology scooters. They make some pretty awesome off-road scooters, not just this one, which is a really nice, lightweight, travel-friendly scooter with suspension. That's kind of what makes the Buzz around XLS HD unique. It has a really good weight capacity of for a travel friendly scooter and it has suspension so it gives you a really smooth ride. So what I'm doing here is uh, kind of just taking apart the container or the packaging rather for the colored panels. I wanted to show you, you can change the colored panels from red to blue and we'll show you how to do that. All right, so we're getting close here to being able to take the whole scooter out. Just a few more pieces. Here's the battery box. What's nice about these buzz around travel friendly scooters is you can take the battery box with you and leave your scooter in the trunk of your car or, you know, wherever. If you're in a hotel, you can bring the battery box up to your hotel room, charge it, and then bring it back down with you. You don't have to bring the whole scooter with you. Save you some room in your hotel room. All right, here's the basket that attaches to the front of the steering column. Nice little shopping basket. I'd recommend getting the uh, rear shopping basket accessory though. It's worth it. Gives you a ton of extra space to put your groceries in. And we have videos of what it's like to go grocery shopping with these units. So check out that link to our playlist. So what I'm doing now is I'm uncovering the um, rotation knob here, which is used to tilt lower and raise the handlebar assembly known as the tiller assembly. You're going to want to rotate this counterclockwise. You're going to notice the teeth are coming apart as I rotate that. Now I can raise the whole handlebar slash tiller assembly is the technical term for it. And then make sure you tighten. Don't just let it go or else it'll fall. Okay, so we go clockwise to tighten and it's going to keep it up. That's what you want. So now that it's all the way up, we can actually remove the rest of the uh, components here. We've got the seat wedged under the handlebar assembly. So the seat is a smaller stadium seat with really nice memory foam, super comfortable. I would confidently say that this is gonna be the most comfortable seat out of any of the folding scooters out there, okay? Made by other brands. Golden Technologies has figured it out. This is a really, really comfortable seat. So the seat comes in a plastic bag, just unwrap it, and you can see here it folds. Really nice material here. I mean, I can't really explain what it feels like in the video, obviously, but if you come into one of our local showrooms, you'll see. Compared to any other model, like the ones behind me, this travel-friendly scooter is super comfortable to sit on for long periods of time. So I'm gonna put things to the side, and I'm gonna show you my little trick here. If you don't have the strength to pick this thing up and out of the box, or if you just wanna save your back, right? It's even for me, I, I don't necessarily like straining myself too much. So what I do is I cut and make my own little like garage door, if you will, out of the box. Okay, so by cutting on each side, what I'm able to do is create an opening on the front of the box, okay? And if you can kind of visualize what's gonna happen here, I am going to roll the scooter right out of the box. Now you see that piece of styrofoam that the front wheel is cradled into? You will wanna tilt the scooter back a bit and get that on out of there. Now the last step here, before we roll it out of the box, you gotta, you gotta put that rotation lever into the neutral position if it's not already. So that's gonna unlock the automatic braking system. There's no brake levers, no brake handle. This thing just 
stops and goes into park mode as soon as you let go of the throttle. So you need to disengage that automatic brake feature. Now I can pick the back up from the handle right here and roll it on its front wheel right out of the box. There you go. Didn't need any help. Didn't need to have uh, to pick it up and deadlift the scooter itself. And we're uh, ready to start assembling. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up this mess and we'll be right back with you. All right, and just like that, folks, we've cleaned up the set. So what we're gonna do now is install the seat posts. You will need a few tools. Um, with these models, they actually include the tools, which is nice. So we have in the user manual bag, a couple of tools here. We've got two Allen keys and a very fancy wrench. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the tools provided by Golden to basically install the seat post. So you've got three different height slots so you can adjust the height by a total of about, it looks like about three inches here. So if you, you wanna start off in the middle, that's my recommendation. And you're gonna to have to kind of pay attention to the size of the hole. On the left, you've got a smaller hole compared to what's on the right. All right, so you see on the right side, that hole is a lot bigger than the one on the left. And that's really important because this bolt head needs to go through on the side with the bigger hole, okay? If you don't do that, the seat post is not gonna be secure. So we're gonna go ahead and get that part going here. So remember, we wanna start off with the medium setting, the middle hole. So I'm gonna go through, and you can see here as I'm lowering the seat post, there's hole number one, hole number two. Now you wanna fish the bolt through on the right side so that the bolt sinks into that hole a little bit. That's why it's important. See, now it's, it's seated inside of that bigger hole. And on the other side, we're just gonna attach the nuts kind of finger tight and then come back with our tools and tighten her up. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna take the provided Allen key or hex key and tighten it up. And man, I gotta say the, the quality of, of the tools here are just amazing. So we'll fast forward through this. It'd be a lot easier if you had a socket set um, and a driver with a hex that's the right size, but it's all right. Not everybody out there is uh, gonna have a set of tools, so at least you've got something to work with. All right, now we're nice and snug. It's not going anywhere. All right, at this point, we're ready to put the battery box right into the cradle. It just slides right in, line it up, and you're in. So again, you've got the charging port down low, a circuit breaker reset switch. So if you do get hung up or you're going off road or going um, exceeding the maximum weight capacity, you know, the, you might trip the breaker. So I'm gonna put the basket on. We do have a little bit of a cardboard in the way here. So we're gonna need to remove that. It's just held on with the zip tie. So you've got two little hooks that come underneath the uh, rails there. So just line them up and push down and it's hooked in, nothing to it. All right, so this unit does come apart by the way. And I'll just take the time to show you really quick. Take the battery box off. You can grab right here, grab right here, pick up and push forward. And now the unit has kind of detached into what we would have is the seat, the battery box, the rear half, the front half, and the basket. So that's five pieces. The heaviest piece is not gonna weigh much. It's gonna be around 35 pounds, you know? So it's pretty manageable if you have a lightweight setup like this to put in the storage space of your SUV or your truck even the trunk space of most cars it'll fit into. So it's pretty nice. We do have an in-depth review video where we're gonna show you a lot more, um, you know, real life scenarios, putting it in the trunk of a car, going out places, shopping, you name it. So make sure you subscribe so that you get notified when we release that video. When you're putting it back together, those two hooks in the back, they kind of just fall on top of that bar, that steel bar. So if you line up the hooks, put them right over the bar, it'll just, drop right into place as long as it's straight. You have to be straight and then it'll just fall right into place. I'm gonna put the battery box back on. Just wanted to show you a quick little demo of how that works. So now we're gonna put the seat on. So you see that little male connector in the middle part of the bottom of the seat? That slides into the uh, rubber female connector there, which with the rubber around that metal male connector, it's not going anywhere. 
when you go to take the seat off to disassemble the scooter, you have to pick straight up, right? Because it's locked in there with that metal grommet. So the key is to not tilt in any direction, just pick straight up and it comes out super easily that way. Okay, so that's the key. When you're taking it apart and putting it back together, make sure that male and the female connector kind of work with you, not against you. All right, here we go. So armrests, you've got sleeves here for the armrest to slide into. However, this screw, uh, hand screw that's used to make it nice and secure needs to be loosened all the way so that you have room to clear that screw or that bolt. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten the hand screw now. And you can set it out further away, closer in. So, you know, depending on your, uh, your body and how much room you need, you can adjust it. Just make sure those are nice and tight, okay? And then just rinse and repeat on the other side. Um, and you do have that universal hitch receiver in the back, which, you know, that's what the other Allen key is for. So you wanna take the, uh, the bolt out. So this hitch receiver basically needs to be installed. That's not the actual hitch receiver. This is the adapter. So you put that over there as a hole for this bolt to go through and lock into. So you're just gonna slide this through and basically just tighten it up all the way, okay? So once it's in all the way, you give it a little tighten once you get it hand tight and that's gonna be how you can attach things like a rear basket, oxygen tank holder. There's a ton of different accessories. When you go to our website to check out, you'll see them there in the accessories section. Okay, so check them out. And it may seem like it's kind of loose, even if you tighten it all the way. I, I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. So don't worry if it's a little loose, that's just normal. Now there is a cap here, so you're probably wondering, how do I install something there? Yeah, well, you gotta take the cap out. So here we go. All right, there you go. So the cap's out, and that's where you would install things like your universal um, basket, oxygen tank holder, walker holder, etc. Now at this point, we have the cup holder, which we're gonna install. All right, now to install the cup holder, you do have to kind of use some hardware, some tools, Phillips head screwdriver. You've got a little plate here. This little plate is basically going to uh, attach itself to the back part. I'll install it on this side so you can see it better with the camera. You can put it on either side, but there's little like slits in the basket. So you'll wanna basically get the cup holder lined up. So the, the bottom part of the cup holder is here. This is where your cup, cup's gonna sit and not slide down any further. And basically you need to have the two holes here lined up with the two holes here, obviously with the basket in between, right? So you can kind of see where the holes line up. So you're gonna want to, it's almost like you need three hands to do this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your hardware. All right, so here we've got the cup holder with the bottom part here, which holds the cup so it doesn't slide down. We've got the bracket which is gonna go on the back side here, right? So what you're gonna to wanna to do is get your, uh, your bolt, which has a Phillips head top and your washer going through it. You're gonna to wanna to get it through the plate first, get that bolt through the top slit, get the bolts then to fish through the top hole on the cup holder, hold it there with one finger. If you have a third set of hands or two people to help you get your washer or your nut rather, and you just kind of finger tighten that. Okay, so now we're finger tight, it's there. Okay, so you're gonna get your second set of screws, or bolts rather, I keep saying screw. Push it through with a washer, get that through the plate here, and then push it through so that it goes through the hole down low on the cup holder, okay? So now, you finger tighten the bottom nut onto the thread bolt there. And you tighten it up. You're gonna need some tools. So you're gonna need a screwdriver and you're gonna need a really small socket or you know a pair of needle nose pliers to tighten it up. All right, so I've got the charger here. We have one part that goes into the wall. Plug that cable into the little box here. We're gonna plug this in. To an outlet we have an extension cord nearby here giving us power once that's plugged in you're going to notice that the light on the little box on the charger turns green then 
you're going to plug this XLR cable. That's what it's called. It's a three pin barrel connector you have. So the charging port up high is here. Okay. You can plug this in here and you can charge it this way with the batteries attached to the scooter. You can see now the light has turned red. When it's fully charged, it'll turn green. You want to let it charge when you first get it out of the box for a good 12 hours. Okay. And that's going to break in the batteries. Um, and then after you use it each time, it's going to do better and better. You might not get the full travel range that it's rated for the first time because the batteries need to be broken in. You also have a charging port down here. So if you want to take the battery with you, leave the scooter in the trunk of your car or wherever and go up to your hotel room or just, you know, save that space, you can plug it in to the battery box directly. The battery box does not need to be attached. You can take it out and it's still charging. So you can see the light's still red, which means it's not charged yet, it's charging. Pretty convenient. So we'll go ahead and take that out for now, now that we're pretty much done showing you how to charge the unit. There's one other thing that you can do, which is install this cell phone holder. Pretty neat little feature, little accessory I should say, that comes with it for free. So the cell phone holder is pretty easy to install if you know what you're doing. This is the cell phone holder. It comes with a little arm and this is how you like adjust the angle. It has like a little rotating ball in there. So you're going to want to tighten that, attach the arm to it and a tight, tighten up that little hand knob. Uh, and once it's on there enough, it's, you want it loose enough to be able to move the tilting angle of the cell phone and then you, you tighten it when you have it where you want it. And so on the handlebar assembly, you've got a little hex bolt here, which the Allen key that your uh, user manual bag contained is used for. So you want to head, go ahead and loosen that up, okay? And once it's out, it has a washer there too. So you're going to want to grab the washer and the hex bolt. So you've got your long hex bolt, your washer, which you're going to fish through the arm. Okay, so you're going to fish that through the arm and then put it in to the same threaded hole that it came from. And that is basically how the cell phone holder gets installed. Okay, I know I'm covering up the shot here, I apologize, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do and get it in there and then tighten it up with that Allen key as much as you can so that it doesn't get loose over time, especially if you're like going on bumpy terrain and stuff, it might get loose over time. So tighten it up nice and tight, not too tight, you don't wanna crack anything. And now you've got a nice little cell phone holder here. You can press these two buttons it's gonna widen it up so you can put your cell phone there. Once you press the cell phone back, it's gonna press up against that tab and these arms will hug the cell phone. All right, so remember you've got this little screw in the back, you can loosen it up and you wanna put it in the right orientation. You want the bottom arms to hold the bottom of your phone. And depending on the size of your cell phone, it might not work. Like I have a really wide cell phone with a case and it doesn't fit, but if you have a smaller phone, you just put it up against there and once it's there, this little pressure release tab, when you push against it, will hug onto the sides and that's how it holds your phone. Pretty neat, but again, depending on how big your phone is, it might not work for you, so keep that in mind. All right, folks, so we're gonna go ahead and conclude this video. I'm just gonna show you how to install the safety flag, which makes you more visible, you know, if you uh, need to keep an eye on your loved one that uses a scooter and you can't see them when they get too far, that's going to make it a lot easier to find them when they're scooting around the mall, the grocery store without you getting lost. So we've wrapped up everything except changing the color panels, which is pretty easy to do. You just need a little flathead screwdriver. You're going to pop off the panels and locate the tabs that are on the panels with your replacement set first. So you know where to slide that flathead screwdriver. They pop right off really easily. The new ones just clip right into place. So you could change the panels from red to blue, depending on what you're feeling like that day, that week, that month. Other than that, it's a pretty easy to operate scooter. We do have an in-depth review video that's going to show you how to use it and talk about all the details, the in-depth specifications, pros and cons. So make sure you subscribe, check that video out. It's on our YouTube channel already. You can click right there to watch it. 
And if you subscribe, we're going to be always releasing new videos of new products and fun videos, entertaining videos of us going out, having fun, causing trouble at the malls, going fishing, going to the beach with different models. We have tons of different scooters made by Golden Technologies and other really well-known trusted brands. We only carry the best brands that include an industry-leading warranty. This is covered with a one-year warranty on the battery, two years on the drivetrain, the electronics, and a lifetime limited warranty on the frame. Not only that, you get a one one year in-home repair contract. So if something goes wrong within the first year and it's a warranty approved claim, a technician gets dispatched to your home. You don't have to go anywhere. One other thing I told you, if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how to subscribe, how to enter our monthly giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel and leave a comment. If you subscribe and you comment below, you can ask us a question. We'll answer it and you're automatically going to be entered into that giveaway. We randomly select one person that subscribed and left a comment. We let them know that they're the winner and they get a free scooter or a power chair. Once a so if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and you could be the next lucky winner. Again, my name is Sergio. I'm with Mobility Direct. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, everybody, have a great day.